Hey Ferb, I'm bored. What about you? Yeah, I'm bored too. There's really not much to do in our room. I wonder what we can do during a no school day. You know, we aren't in school because of Free King's Day. But you can come up with something in your head about what we can do to make this day fun for us. Sure. Because we don't have school on Three Kings Day, I'll find us what to do by using my brain. Hmm. What did you come up with, Phineas? I know how to make this day fun. How about we can ask our mom to take us to an amusement park, or to an arcade? I'm pretty sure those two things will make a no school day fun for all of us. Oh yes, an amusement park. I love roller coasters. Maybe we can go to a Six Flags or we can build ourselves a roller coaster. Ferb, we already built a roller coaster. But unfortunately someone demolished it. We can't just build a roller coaster all over from scratch. I didn't expect that to happen in our first episode on television. But let's go ask our mum to see if she can take us somewhere fun. Okay. I was about to say that right before you did. But come on. Hey mom. What is it Phineas? Since it's a no school day today, can we go to Dave and Buster's to celebrate? Please? Nope. You both are still grounded after what you've done last year. First, you've both failed a spelling test, skipped school, misbehaved at Burger King, getting Caillou grounded, and stealing the teacher's job. So that's why you both are not allowed to go anywhere on a no school day nor during summer vacation. Please mum, we are bored and we have nothing to do except watching TV on a boring television in our room. Just please take us somewhere fun. Phineas and Ferb, for the one billionth time, no. We're not going to Dave and Buster's nor anywhere fun in the city. You both are still grounded for what you have done at school and places where we've been. So go upstairs to your room and don't ask me to take you somewhere. It sucks to be stuck indoors with nothing to do. Lucky for us, we don't have any toys to play with. Yeah, I agree with you, Ferb. I can't believe our mom won't let us go visit any places like Dave and Buster's. We're just lucky enough that we aren't allowed to visit Chuck E. Cheese. Phineas, I think someone could be calling you. Oh god, the ringtone scared me out. I wonder who could it be? Hello. You've reached Phineas's phone. Who is this? Hey Phineas. It's Isabella calling you. Isabella. I didn't know you were calling me. What do you want? Well, since I've heard you two are bored in the house, I wanted to invite you guys to Dave and Buster's to celebrate that we don't have school today. Is that fine with you? Of course, but we just talked to our mom just now and she said that we aren't allowed to visit any fun places in the city that are related to recreation, arcades, or any local parks. But I'll fake that me and Ferb are going for a walk. <laughs> Okay. I'll meet you inside the Dave and Busters. I'm pretty sure it won't be that busy today. Yeah, okay. Just go inside Dave and Busters, tell the person at the front entrance that we are a group of three and order some food and pick a table that is close to the window. Goodness, I'm scared because we might get caught by our parents. Phineas, just don't worry my friend. You'll be okay. I'm pretty sure Linda and Lawrence won't mind. Well, I have to hang up and I'll meet you both at the location. Nice talking with you. Bye. Bye. So, what did Isabella said? Well, I can explain. Since we have nothing to do in our house, she said that she'll meet us at Dave and Buster's for some fun today. But first, we must false that we are going for a walk. How does that sound to you for... Good idea. I knew it. Let's go downstairs and tell our parents that we are going for a walk. Let's go. Hey Lawrence, we are going for a walk. Okay Phineas and Ferb, please be back quick. We are about to go out for some errands. Thanks.
So Phineas, where did Isabella told us to meet her at? She told us to meet her inside Dave and Buster's. I'm pretty sure that she already ordered the food and the play passes. Let's go inside and see what she has to say. Well, I'm hoping that the arcade isn't packed at all. Ferb, Dave and Buster's isn't crowded at all. It's Thursday and they close at 12 a.m. today. Let's go inside and not waste time talking outside. Stop being mean. We're brothers. Hello, and welcome to Dave and Buster's. Are you with someone or just single? No. We have received an invitation from Isabella. Okay, let me look up your party's invite. You must be Phineas and Ferb. Right? Yes, we are Phineas and Ferb. Okay, but who invited you to Dave and Buster's? Isabella. Oh, okay. You are free to enter. Have fun. Thank you. Sup, Phineas and Ferb. I am so glad you came right on time. It's our pleasure. Have you got the play passes yet? Yes, I did. We've just got unlimited access to all of the games included in our card. You see, I saved 50% off on the passes with them. They offered me to get the standard pass, but I opted to the golden tier pass just for $7.84. How cool isn't that guys? Wow, thank you so much Isabella. You've made our day awesome. You're welcome. What are we waiting for? Let's go play games and we'll get something to eat at the end. That's what I was going to say. Let's go. Hi there, welcome to Dave and Busters. Can I help you with something? Have you seen two boys with green and red hair wearing an orange shirt and a yellow shirt? You mean, are you talking about Phineas and Ferb who just got granted an entry inside our arcade? Is that what you meant? Yes. We've been looking for them all over our house and they never came back from their walk since noon. What's wrong? Wait a second. Did you just mention Phineas and Ferb? Uh-huh. What's wrong with them? You won't believe what they just did. Wait! What did they do? They sneaked out of the house to go to Dave and Buster's. Go get them now because they are in deep trouble. Don't worry. I'll get them and they are banned from this Dave and Busters. Thanks for alerting me about this. No problem. And make the ban even worse. I'll see what I can do, Mrs. These wings were so good. Isabella was so kind to offer us wings and fries. I know. Let's order ourselves another one. Pardon the interruption to your fun, but you guys are coming along with me to the service desk. Oh no! We are in dead meat. Come on, Ferb. I'll call Isabella when we get home. Do you have any idea why I brought you to the service desk along with your parents? I don't know, but we were just about to have more wings and fries to continue the fun. I agree, Ferb. We were about to have more food until you came over to get us and bring us to a room that makes no sense. Well, you should have learned your lesson. Phineas and Ferb. You are hereby banned from this Dave and Buster's location permanently as a request by your mom. If we see you again on the grounds, we will have the right to call the police. This. Can't. Be. Happening. <laughs> W.A. No! 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 No, please don't ban us from Dave and Buster's. It's our favorite place since our show aired on Disney XD. Well, that's too bad. And we are going home right now and you're both grounded 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 for 532 Kelvin's days. Well, we don't need to ground you both at home since you are going straight to your rooms when we get home. W-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-